Hello, welcome to the U of How To. So in this video, uh, I kind of want to just go through a tutorial on how to get started using TeacherMade. Okay, and so um, I'm going to log into TeacherMade right now. Okay, so it's um, app.teachermade.com. Um, I just created an account with Google, so I'm going to sign in with Google. Okay, using my teacher account. And that's it. I mean, it's free and right away it takes me to this create worksheet because that's what it assumes I want to do that's why I'm here uh, enter the file name actually so you know what let me go in here and I'm going to select a file okay, so I, I actually have my Google Drive on my desktop computer uh, if you want to know how I did that I will post a link in the description and you probably see it showing up somewhere above the screen right now Okay, so I'm actually in my Google Drive, but it's, everything is on my computer. So this just, um, it's a lot quicker when it comes to using uh, non-Google products like Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or um, my SmartBoard notebook software. Okay, that kind of thing. So opening up those kinds of files. If you open it up through Drive, you always have to download. And so having Google Drive um, file stream installed on my desktop computer here at home saves me from having to download edit and then re uh, upload the files again okay so uh, I'm going to just pick okay so I just selected a um, a docx file and so you can see it's got three pages so it allows me to choose which pages I want so I don't have to include every single page from the file um, so for this I'm just going to pick all of them for simplicity here I can give it a description if I want and realize here my document or my image or my PDF file is my background okay so I can't actually edit anything showing up here it's basically just seeing it as an image put into a background okay so when I go to create my worksheet okay so there's the, the worksheet or the quiz in this case and so um, like let's say for example I wanted to turn this into uh, not a quiz but um, just a practice worksheet so if I wanted to omit this uh, scoring um, table here okay how it's going to be marked um, there is this whiteout tool okay this color block so if I click on this and I box that in okay it whites it out so the colors the fill color is white the border color is black so I'd want to make that white and so now that's gone okay and let's say I want to get rid of the name here um, so I have the option again to uh, use the color block or I can select any existing tool that I just inserted and you can duplicate with control D okay so I duplicate and so now uh, here for something like this function and I want them to just say yes or no. So that might be a spot to use a drop down menu. So there's my drop down. So I click on that. Select where I want the drop down to show up. I can resize it. And to put in my options, I go to edit. And my options are yes or no. Okay. And if I, so you see it's giving uh, the option to score it. Number of points one. I can put do not score. I can obviously change the number of points. Um, I can add more choices okay um, you know I can shuffle the order if I don't want it to show up the same each time and so let's say I did want to score it okay so if I leave it as one then I'm just going to select the right answer okay so um, you know, I'm not even going to look at it right now let's just say it's not okay so if I put no as the right answer I hit save changes now that's set up to be marked okay uh, reason I might want them to type in so here's a text box okay so they can give a short answer and if I go to edit you can see it has it set up as one point and I can start listing correct answers that it will automatically correct for me and I can even um, tell it to uh, be case sensitive okay um, domain and range again maybe I want to um, use math symbols for example so if I type in math click on math I can allow just the number so let's say I clicked on that for example just to show you okay and I go to edit 
you can see I can type in correct answers again with the marks um, and I can allow these things and so if I only want a whole number for example I can take away decimals I can take away commas um, I can even say no I don't want any negatives okay everything has to be a positive number so you have those options algebra expression so if I click on that and let's say I put that here so it just shows this uh, you know it throws Pythagorean theorem in there just as a way to show me that that's going to um, it's going to give them the option to, to use exponents and things like that okay and if you're ever not sure at any time you just go to view and preview so you can see what it's going to be looking like for the students and so if I click on that algebra one you can see that these options show up okay so now uh, there are no multiple choice here but I'm going to just pretend so I can show you um, so uh, or just show you a couple other things so there's your open answer so like more of a paragraph there's matching setup so let's say um, let's say this was actually a matching question so if I click on this if I box in the five okay and I set another matching one up and I box in the six and I want those to be a match so let's say I click on this one, I hold the shift key down, and then I click on the second item, and you can see this dotted line connects the two. Okay, so now that is a match. Let's get out of here. So that's, um, we've seen all of these now, the matching. True or false is just going to add those two buttons. So let's say um, P slash F, or yes or no type question, uh, or, or actually writing the words true or false. So let's say I just click on T, F. Um, let's say the statement I wanted this to be a true or false okay I click on it I can resize it okay but if I click on transparent now it's um, the box is see-through okay when I click on it I can edit tell me how many points and if for this one you actually want to just click on true or false as your right answer okay and it will mark it here this is your multiple choice so if I click on that, how many choices do you want? Do you want four choices set up as a grid? Um, so let's say I did that one, for example. Okay, so you can see, you can resize it, stretch it out, depending on where your options are. Okay, okay, uh, so it's set up as transparent, right? So if I put it over top of, you know, next to something, you can make the spaces Okay, let's say these were my options it can make it line up a little bit better okay like this and you select the right answer whichever answer might be the right answer um, you know you can have four choices going across this way if you drag it down instead um, wider brings them closer together narrow brings them further apart um, checkbox works uh, the, the same okay how many choices do you want Okay, you drag it and you click on any checkboxes that you uh, want them to be checked. And now you see this vertical bar here? These three things here are for my own editing. Okay, it's not for the students. So if I want to add my own text here, so let's say, uh, let's say I didn't have name as an option and I wanted to put that in, I can just click on a text box. Okay, edit the text box, and let's say I want to put name. Okay, I can make it bold, I can change the color. Sure, let's make it red. I can change the size. Again, transparent or leave it white, whatever you decide. Let's say I leave it white. Save changes, and you can see it just adds text so that when the students see it, it's like it was just there. Now uh, it's got this black border around it. Again, this is why previewing is uh, useful. I, I don't want that black border, so if I click on this, I gotta go up to the pencil. Sorry, I put a white border. Put no border. Okay. Uh, anytime you want, when you want to select something, that's what uh, this arrow is. Okay. Um, you can insert images on top and this is that block tool that I showed you and now if you notice there's no save option okay so I'm going to make a change and you'll see up here it's going to automatically save it okay so let's say I um, delete oh, 
look at saved let's say I click on this and I delete it saved okay so it automatically saves um, pretty much every uh, change that you make as you make it okay so once I'm done in here um, I just want to close it okay so close the worksheet whether it's from the file menu or just this X and once I close it, it takes me this to the screen where I have all of these actions that I can go through again uh, go back to edit it or edit the properties um, I can create an assignment or I can preview the worksheet again so now when I go to create an assignment or assign worksheet um, but if I assign worksheet you can see here I can have students um, make sure I want them to sign in with a Google account I can have them see their score right away or not okay or if I do want to show score there's options here with how it's going to be showed um, even the way it's displayed do I want points earned percentage okay uh, do I want to hide the toolbars from students um, so I wouldn't want to do that but you do have that option okay and if you do click on create assignment you have the option of just uh, taking this URL and posting it in whatever uh, you know LMS you are using or to, with your students or share it directly to Google Classroom okay okay uh, let's say I go back okay so you can see now that it's um, because that link has been created I hit create assignment it's here waiting uh, waiting to see what happens okay and one thing I didn't show is if I go back to my worksheets let's click on one that's been done uh, let's say this one okay if I click on the assignment and I'll blur out names you can see I have their scores uh, return means that I have checked the marks I went through it and I've um, selected the return option okay so now they are now they are able to see their marks and they can go back and see their right answers and uh, what they got wrong okay so uh, and so like right now I don't want to actually keep this assignment so I can go through and delete that worksheet okay so um, that's really all there is to um, using TeacherMade to take your PDFs or existing documents and make it editable for students um, and even create assessments out of it, self-grading assessments for yourself. Okay, so hopefully you found this useful and I will see you in the next one.